And just to hear clients' stories, they talk about things that are not easy to talk about. And they will tell me, you're the first person I share this with. Hearing those words is, you know, very powerful to me. What well, enriches us too as providers because we do learn a lot from our patients as well. It goes both ways. <laughs> right, right, right. Because you are giving so many hours, but then in the end, when you see those positive outcomes, you just feel like, yeah, it's worth it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it just keeps you driving forward. Hi. How are you doing today? Good. Can you describe to me what pediatrics is? Pediatrics is mostly preventative care, taking care of kids from birth to 19 years of age, more so about being an advocate so that we can shape their futures. What do you think about behavioral health? Behavioral health is the connection between behaviors and just health and well-being of our mind, spirit, body. And we provide a safe space to work on these different stressors and help families feel supported in transitions just like the ones we're facing. What is your role as a dentist? Well, with dentistry in pediatrics, it usually starts when the first tooth comes in. Our key is to start them early so that they're not scared. Brushing at least twice a day, the teeth are touching, starting flossing habits. So it's just nice to give them a positive experience. As a pediatrician, we definitely want our kids to have comprehensive care, and it's really hard in the outside world. Here at Samuel Rogers, we have everything in like one building. That is one thing I appreciate of Samuel Rogers, is being able to communicate between departments. A lot of times if a patient comes to me to begin with, I can actually see some things in the mouth that might be connected to behavioral health or to medical. So being able to provide that to our patients is powerful because ultimately you're creating healthier families and healthier communities. We know as providers that a lot of the experiences that children face, it impacts their overall well-being and, and it also impacts their future. Seeing just like both of you guys so passionate about what you do and so happy when you talk about it, patients see that and they feel that. A welcoming environment. I am very impressed with all the languages that we offer, like some of those languages I've never even heard before and it's right there. And especially with our in-house interpreters, I mean, they do an awesome job. I'm able to speak both English and Spanish. Even just talking their native language, it just opens so much ability to build rapport and it helps that therapeutic relationship. So even with all this virus pandemic thing going around, you're still safe to come to Samuel Rogers. We are taking all the necessary precautions. They don't necessarily always have to come to the center. We try to do it through a phone call, do it through teletherapy. So that service is also very important because they don't always have to physically come to the yeah. center. I feel like the reasons why patients are sometimes scared to go anywhere is because they're worried about the funds. But that's why we're here. <laughs> like Samuel Archers were able to provide services and comprehensive care at reduced cost, even if they're uninsured. For behavioral health, we have the Jackson County Levy, which is able to provide services at no cost to the client. If the family doesn't have income and they say they cannot afford, we have the sliding fee, just like a minimal amount of money based on the amount of money they earn or day in a household. And the same thing for medications. We are able to provide services to clients that are insured, underinsured, and uninsured. We can provide that transport. We can provide the Uber for you. One of my biggest goals is to impact families and their attachment to each other. And this is a very safe space that we're able to provide to do that. We bring our own personality to it. We're here because we love what we do.